Okay, now we'll do, we just did a slip stitch. Now we'll do a chain, one, one chain, then turn the whole flower over. Oh, I'm gonna trim off this tail of yarn first. Okay, now underneath where the hook is, here's a spoke that's all by itself. That's our first one. And here are two spokes. One, two, that are together. We're gonna be working with each one. So I'm gonna go underneath this first spoke and do a slip stitch to bring the needle, the hook where it should be. And now I'll do five chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now the next spoke, I'm going to do a double crochet. So they're together, so I kind of have to pull it apart. Create your own space. Finish working that double crochet. And then how many chains? Two. One, two, double crochet under every, we're not skipping any spokes this time. We need to create eight loops for the next set of petals. Two chain stitches, another double crochet. Separate these a little bit. that double crochet and two chain stitches. The next spoke, go underneath, pull the yarn through, finish working that double crochet and two chain stitches. Okay, continue on till you do eight. Okay, I just finished my last double crochet, but I didn't do the chain stitches. So there's one, two, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. The eighth loop will form after I do a slip stitch, and I'm going to do that slip stitch in the one, two, third um, chain stitch that we started these loops with. There's the slip stitch. Like that. Isn't that fun? Our flower is beginning to look a little bit like a flower. Okay. I had to pause and make sure I was doing this right. <laughs> we just did a slip stitch in that third chain. Now do another chain stitch and then turn the whole thing around again. This is actually the front and we're going to kind of fold the petals down so we can see these loops that we made on the back. And here's the first loop. There's eight of them. In each one of these loops, we're going to work the same thing, which is um, a petal in each one, but it's a little tiny bit different. You do a single crochet, a chain stitch again. The only difference with these petals is you're gonna do three double crochets instead of two in between the single crochet. So there's one. two, three double crochets. Then you do the chain stitch again before you finish it off with a single crochet. And then you move on to the next loop. Put down the front petal so you can see it. Um, one little hint is these single crochet stitches that you work to start the pedal and to end the pedal. I work a little bit tighter. It just makes a sharper pedal, so you might want to do that. Oh, it makes it harder to get through those loops just because I'm pulling the yarn tighter. So you do a single cro crochet, chain stitch, and then three doubles. 
and keep working all the way around. I thought I'd work the last eighth petal with you. So here's a single chain, three petals. gets cramped in this last loop. And a tighter single crochet. And then you'll do a slip stitch in the first single crochet of that first petal. Oh, isn't that so cute? We have two sets of petals. 